water that falls as rain is perfect to use in a swimming pool. It has a neutral pH level and is very pure. The trees and plants form a natural filtration system that captures dirt and some of the impurities that were brought down from the atmosphere. So we're off to a good start there. The problems arise when the water lands on the ground and sinks into the soil. As the water filters through the soil, it can pick up virus and bacteria organisms and elements such as iron and manganese, all of which you don't want in your swimming pool water. After sinking down through the soil, the water ends up in huge underground rock caverns. When a borehole is drilled, it taps into this water and pumps it to the surface. In many areas, the water is still clean and pure, but there are places where the water has picked up unwanted elements as it filters through the sand, as I've mentioned earlier. Some of these elements can cause problems if you put the untreated water straight into your pool. They can change the color or taste of your pool water or can harm your pool equipment or your health. There are eight main problems that you may find in the water coming from your borehole. It may have a milky translucent look. It may have a bad taste or bad odor. It may contain organisms which can make humans ill or cause disease. It can display hardness or alkalinity. It may contain iron, it may contain manganese, and it may contain nitrates. And the pH level of the water may be incorrect. Now it's very unlikely that you'll have all of these problems, but you may have one or two. So what do we do to correct the water quality? All of these problems can be corrected by using filtration systems, using chlorine, using ultraviolet purification systems, using water softeners and adjusting the pH level of your water. The first thing to do is to take a sample of your borehole water to a laboratory. The test results will tell you exactly what you need to treat. Ask at your local pool store for information. They may be able to do the testing for you. If your water has a hazy look, the cause is usually suspended particles in the water. Treatment is to filter the water through a filtration system to get clear, colorless water. If there's a polluted stream nearby, you may get a bad taste or odor from your groundwater. This is usually caused by rotting particles and the bad odor is caused by elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide, which is responsible for that terrible rotten egg smell. The best treatment is to clean the offending stream. Odor and taste problems can be cured by getting rid of the offending substance, and each case will need to be assessed and treated accordingly. There are organisms in the soil which can cause illness or even disease. These are usually in the form of microscopic virus or bacteria organisms. Bacteria can be eliminated by using an oxidation method, such as chlorine or by using an ultraviolet system. Chlorine is either applied in pellet form or by using a saltwater chlorinator. Saltwater chlorinators use salt to create chlorine in your pool water. Your pool water will taste slightly salty. Ozone is a gas which is produced by subjecting oxygen molecules to high electrical voltage. The ozone gas kills microorganisms. Ozonation is a water treatment process that destroys microorganisms by passing ozone gas through the water. Once you've treated your water, it's important to analyze your treated borehole water regularly to ensure that your treatment against bacteria is effective. Hardness and alkalinity of water is quite common and is caused by calcium and magnesium. Hard water deposits cause scale in metal equipment such as in your pool pump or filtration systems. Hardness and alkalinity are not health hazards though and can be treated by using water softeners. A water softener is an iron exchange system, which essentially means that it swaps one iron for another. It exchanges the hardness ions that are present in calcium and magnesium for sodium ions. Iron, manganese and nitrates can be removed from the groundwater using filtration systems. Filtration systems pass the water through sand. The dirt and elements are caught up in the sand and clean water flows out at the other end of the filter. Iron compounds dissolve 
easily in water. Iron oxides can cause damage in household plumbing systems and in pumps. Groundwater with large concentrates of iron can cause rusty stains and if drunk in large amounts, iron can be a health hazard. Iron bacteria can also cause problems. These are tiny organisms that give off a slimy excretion. Iron organisms are also commonly removed through filtration. Manganese requires the same treatment. Manganese is found frequently in groundwater. It can give water a bitter and metallic taste and under certain conditions can cause health problems. Manganese can also be removed from your borehole water by using a filtration system. Nitrates occur in groundwater when plants decompose in the soil, but often also occur because of human influences such as wastewater runoff and the leaching of fertilizers and manure. Nitrates can have negative health effects and the common treatment is to filter the water. pH is the method used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of the groundwater. Low levels of pH mean that the water is acidic and this acidic water can be corrosive to the metal parts of your pool pump and can also be harmful to drink. High pH levels cause the water to be alkaline and can have negative health effects. pH can be treated by adjusting the acidity or alkalinity levels of the water. You've got to be quite unlucky to have all of these problems in your groundwater. Usually the pH levels need to be adjusted and one or two other issues will need to be corrected. Getting the borehole water off to be tested is the best start to make to find out what condition your borehole water is in. Water is getting scarce and more valuable every year. It's likely that the investment in a few filtration systems and a chlorinator will save you loads of money in the long run.